I want somebody to keep track and let me know in the comments how many things we have missed in a row. And that's going to lower our accuracy, and that's not going to help. What is up, all you beautiful people? It is your boy, Michael, here with Playthroughs for You, and I'm bringing you episode number 44 of our Hardcore Iron Man Randomized Nuzlocke. And uh, we're just going to keep on our way here. We're going to keep going. I know I have to go back and get dive, uh, so don't, don't worry about that. Uh, and I'm just going to wait here for this trainer. But for those of you that are new, first of all, thank you so much and uh, welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking out my video. If you don't know what a Hardcore Iron Man randomized Nuzlocke is, go ahead and check out the description down below. Uh, it has all of the rules for what a Hardcore Iron Man randomized Nuzlocke is. And if you end up enjoying the content, I upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you definitely are going to want to check that out if you want your fix of Pokemon content. There's also a link in the description down below for the playlist of this season, which is Season 3. For those of you that are returning, thank you all so much. You guys are truly awesome. Your support goes above and beyond what I have uh, would have ever expected. You guys are truly awesome. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you so much. Truly appreciate it. Uh, yep, we'll switch. We'll bring in Henry. We gotta, we gotta get another Pokemon up here, and I think Henry's probably the best one we have right now to do that. Um, it's been a rough couple episodes, but I feel like this episode's definitely gonna go our way, so we're not really too concerned about what we got going on here. So, just want to give a special thanks uh, to my patrons over at Patreon. Uh, and if you guys don't know what that is, go ahead and check out. There's a link in the description down below. It's just an extra way to support me. If you genuinely and truly enjoy uh, the content that I have. And uh, I'm real excited. This episode is going up uh, on Friday. And uh, got poisoned. Of course we did. You know, the bane of our existence, to be honest, this run has been enemy Pokemon surviving literally at 1 HP. And then just dicking us over in whatever way possible. I mean, we have antidotes in, in Petcha Berries from finding them out in the wild, but I mean, uh, realistically, I would like to save them for worst case scenarios in the Pokemon League and whatnot. Um, we have 10 Petcha Berries, so actually, I guess that's fine, huh? Quit complaining, Michael. It's all good. It's all good. Shed Ninja. Yep, we ended up capturing one of those. It's got a nice double battle here. I like the double battles, unless it's the uh, Pokemon League trainers. But yeah, I'm recording this on Friday. I got some amazing news that you guys are going to love on Saturday. I'm not telling you guys this episode. 100% will be happening on Saturday, though. You guys are going to absolutely love it. And I'm going to advertise the shit out of it. So, hope you guys are excited. We're going to switch this out. Send in Lyle. But we are going to keep Salin and go for the faint attack on the Starmie because I am like 85% sure it's also Psychic type. Uh, is it? It is. Success. So even though I've stopped taking the Crick S's, I need to be vigilant. And remember to keep track of those. If you guys haven't guessed uh, the Static Rayquaza, which we will get before the Pokemon League, make sure you go ahead and do that. Definitely want to get your guess in. That Pokemon is going to be level 70, and it's probably going to be incredibly difficult to catch if we don't end up finding uh, really any good balls. We do have a timer ball, so theoretically, as long as the Pokemon doesn't KO our entire freaking team, which I really hope it doesn't, I would absolutely love to find a Master Ball, I'll tell you that. I would take a Master Ball any day over having our sixth Lucky Egg. Currently, we have uh, many. We have five, right? We have five. This is a new route, so our randomized encounter will probably be happening after this battle. So, we're going to try and get that in. A Cleffa. Well, I think Nitto King can handle this one, so. Especially since he has double kick. Honestly, should one hit it. It's going to be close. Hey, we did it. Could you imagine if we didn't one-hit the Cleffa? That would be embarrassing. All right. Kid is awfully tough. That's right. I sure am. Don't underestimate me because I'm a child. All right. Here's our randomized encounter. 
It's a Vulpix. I don't really care for it, but, you know, we'll try and catch it. Uh, we'll go for Poison Sting. <laughs> oh, we got burned. <sighs> Why? I don't care anymore. I don't feel like taking any free damage. Didn't really think it would know um, Will-O-Wisp, if I'm being completely honest. We didn't really need the Vulpix anyway. It also wasn't someone's guess, so I wasn't too... Uh, double bird, huh? That would have been a trash Pokemon. All right, well, we'll just sit here and get into a nice double battle. A nice, nice double battle. Pretty excited, pretty excited. Mantine and Masquerade. Alright, well. I don't like having Henry out here with these two water type Pokemon. I don't really like having Sal out here either. And with how everything has been going, we are just going to switch. Because there is no way I am risking them double teaming up on Sal. Just not gonna risk it. We're already switching one, so might as well switch to Supersonic on Delta, alright. What about Masquerade? Gust, okay. They did double team Sal. <laughs> that was their plan. Psychic should probably one hit this Pokemon. Yep. Good stuff. Everyone's got a lucky egg. Pidgeotto. All right. Respectable. Hopefully Delta doesn't hurt herself. If she did, it's going to do a good amount of damage. Agility. We are just going to go for another Psychic on the Pidgeotto, though. That way we can have a nice 2v1 battle. Hopefully Delta won't hurt herself. That's good that Supersonic missed. Don't like that. Alright, Delta. This is how we're going to play this, huh? Alright. We'll play it this way. You have your fun hurting yourself. Lyle's just going to crit like an animal. An absolute madman. Delta's going to sit here and do absolutely nothing. Hoot hoot. I mean, if you don't hit this, like, we're going to have some issues, Delta. Oh, wow. Gotta love that free damage. That's all right, though. We have plenty of heals. We have plenty of heals. We actually haven't even used one in Lily Cove City, which is actually shocking. I'm shocked, honestly. Another nice double battle here. And this is a new route, 131. So we can potentially get another Pokemon. It would be wild if it was a good one. Hoot hoot, huh? Wow. Very good, huh? Very good, huh? Alright, well. Send in Lyle. We'll keep Sal in. That's fine. Let's go for the faint attack here. Should be good. Yeah. Did half. Uh, we are gonna have Lyle hit because its speed rises to reflect. Oh, beautiful. Not Mega Punch, Psychic, and Faint Attack. Sal faster than Lyle, huh? Interesting. One hit the Hoot Hoot. Psychic. The easy KO. We fought a lot of legendaries this run. A lot of legendaries. Do I think Henry will be level 40 by the time we hit the Pokemon League? Realistically, I, I do not. I don't. He's level 29 right now. And I really don't think he'll will have enough experience, honestly, to spread around. 
think we have that many trainers left. There's a good amount of trainers, like, at the 8th gym badge. Um, and then some on our way. I mean, realistically, I guess it uh, comes down to how many Pokemon can Henry fight without having to be switched. And uh, Onyx is a pretty good one. Rage. That's not really going to do anything. Ah, the good old Poison Point. I am very excited uh, to stream the Pokemon. Uh, I am also a little nervous because uh, it, it isn't a public location. I don't really have uh, control over what people say in public locations. But um, I don't think anything is going to go down. So <laughs> just hopefully something doesn't happen. All right. Henry got level 29. Still level 29. Didn't get level 29. This is our encounter. This is a Swampert. And I actually think somebody guessed this Pokemon. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to double kick him. I don't think we're going to KO him with this. Okay. Beautiful. Water gun. It's fine. Whatever. We're going to switch into Delta. I know somebody guessed this. I think it was Grimbartle Games. I'll look like real quick. Swampert. Yep, somebody guessed it. Because I got the name for it right here. I'm going to try and capture this thing, honestly. It's it's way too low for us to use, but somebody guessed the name, so um, I am going to try and capture it. So. And it's not going to do a lot of damage to us. We have a lot of money to buy more Pokeballs, so I'm not really too concerned about potentially running out of those. So, guys, go ahead and raise those dongers. Especially, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Grimbarrow Games that guessed this. I could be wrong. Uh, the Q Charm definitely helps us here. But I didn't write down everyone's name who guessed. I just wrote down the Pokemon they guessed and the name that they associated with it. But I am pretty sure. Pretty sure was him. Gotta love the immobilized by love here. Gotta hate the fact that Delta has not been clutch at all this episode. Hurts herself three times and then misses like four sings in a row. Yeah, luck is just not on our side right now. Another miss, huh? <laughs> I mean, Swampert's not having good luck either. But, jeez. Wow. Mobilized by love. I guess we're not going to hit any more sings. I guess Delta uh, doesn't want to. I want somebody to keep track and let me know in the comments how many sings we have missed in a row. And that's going to lower our accuracy and that's not going to help us. I don't remember how many we had when we started. If we go literally through all of these things, that's a crit. Yeah, of course we did. We hit, So we hit one, and I think it has a 55% chance to hit. And we rolled abysmally on RNG. So now that sucks. All right, so we just got the Pokeball then. And this is a starter. So here's another thing that we can do. Instead of putting him to sleep, uh, we can send in Dragonair and paralyze him. We'll send in Chad here. And we'll paralyze him. Can we, though? Isn't he ground type? He's ground type, isn't he? Yep. Fuck. <laughs> Never mind. It sounded good. Sounded good, didn't it? That did sound good. Well. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I cannot believe we missed all of those things. All of them. I've never seen moves miss that much before. you're at home, raise those dongers. Raise them. 
You gotta keep them raised. I don't think we're gonna catch the Swampert. I don't wanna be here for like 25 minutes trying to capture it either. Alright. I don't want Chad to get hit and die. Mile it is. Alright, time to just start chucking some Pokeballs. Hmm. Well, I hope you guys have uh, some awesome plans for the weekend. I would love to know what you guys got planned. We did catch the Swampert. Uh, his nickname is going to be Drain Pipe. If he was a higher level, we'd be bringing him on the team, but uh, he isn't. Which is unfortunate, because I actually really would like to use this Pokemon. All right. Amazing guess for whoever guessed that. Thank you. We're just going to sit here. Oh. We're going to get into that battle next episode. I just realized this. It's like 16 minutes already. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, huge shout out again to those over at Patreon, uh, Trayton, Rob, and Lyle. You guys are absolutely awesome. Um, for those of you that are new, remember I do upload every day at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So hit the subscribe button if you want this continuous content. Until next time, I'll see all you beautiful people later. Thanks so much for watching.